There's a story in the Bible about Jesus seeing a fig tree from a distance. He's hungry and he wants some figs. So they walk toward this fig tree and upon closer inspection, he finds no figs on that tree. He curses that fig tree and that fig tree begins to wither away. You can find this story in Matthew chapter 21, verses 18 and 19. There is a bigger picture to this story. It's not just about Jesus wanting to show his power to the disciples and say, look, I can make this fig tree die. At this time, we know that the Pharisees and the Sadducees looked the part. They were the religious leaders of that time. But yet, they would not help people if it didn't help them. This is like a tree who looks good, but does not have any fruit. There are people in this world today who are spiritually searching to have their lives, their spiritual lives, nourished and satisfied so that they can stop the search. But if we call ourselves Christians and we just look the part, meaning we go to church, we read the Bible, we pray, when people look at us, they respect us as Christians, but yet on closer inspection, there is no fruit. Then just like that tree, we are going to wither away because we're not good for nothing. It's like salt that lost its flavor. It's good for nothing. And as men and women of faith, we have the very thing that people need to satisfy their spiritual hunger. And if we just go to church and do whatever we want to do and not help the world and not do anything for them to satisfy their spiritual needs, then we have lost ourselves. Remember what Jesus said. He said, inasmuch as you did it to the least of these, my brethren, you've done it to me. Well, Jesus, when did we see you hungry and feed you? When did we see you thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you in jail and visit you? When did we see you in the hospital and come to you? He says, you've done it to them. You've done it to me. That is fruit. That is not only hearing the word of God, but that's doing what God's calling us to do. We don't want to be like the religious leaders of Jesus's day. We want to be men and women of faith who do exactly what the Father is calling each and every one of us to do. And as long as you are obedient to the call in your lives, then you will be producing fruit. If someone comes up to you and has a need, don't just give them what they need. Give them Jesus as well. Make sure that you let them know that you know someone who is able to quench their thirst. If they don't have peace, don't just hang with them for a while. Give them peace, the Bible says. If they're lost, don't just give them a compass and a map or a GPS. Give them Jesus so that way they can direct their way into the kingdom of heaven. As Christians, this is who we are. You're not called just to fill a pew in a church. And if you're doing that, you need to get up and go out and minister God's word. Because as you and I know, we don't have much time. God is calling us to be producing fruit in this world today to save people from the enemy, to save people from God's wrath. Our text is clear that if we don't, we will wither away.